Welcome everyone, this is Nightmare 10 once again, and uh, I'm here for a TNA rant number three. I'm sad to be here, actually. Um, this is not going to be a angry video. I mean, I am angry. I'm mad. Um, but I'm going to try to be calm about it. Probably not going to work. Anyways, <laughs> TNA. Oh, before I start, before I even start, spoiler alert, there's going to be spoilers in this. So stop right now if you don't want to see spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. So stop right now. Spoilers. Impact this week. Anyways. It'll be up in the title, so you'll probably already know that there's a possibility of a spoiler. So anyways. RVD versus Sting for the World Heavyweight title. That's your main event at Slammiversary. I said it. I didn't stutter. Found this out first from Steve. From, from Steve. I can't talk. From C Dude on Twitter. Um... I don't know if he wants to plug, but he got one. Um, he apparently read the spoilers first, I guess. I don't read the spoilers, so I didn't know. Saw this, I'm like, what? Are you serious? Had to go uh, read the spoilers myself. It's true. We're getting RVD versus Sting for the title at Slammiversary. Not only, not only is Sting not number one in the real fan vote, but it's not even going to be a king of the mountain. And they can add some bogus, bogus sec, uh, stipulation that this is a king of the mountain with two people. But you've got to be kidding me if they do that. You have got to be kidding me. But TNA... Oh, and by the way, Sting is number one in the ratings this week. Or in the TNA rating system. The bogus rating system. The bullshit rating system. Sting's number one. How many of you voted for Sting? I'm going to take a wild guess and say not many of you. Just going to take a wild guess. I voted for Desmond Wolf, who is most likely the number one, the real number one. I didn't look at the last uh, the last standings before. I'm sure they took them down, but Sting is number one. Kurt Angle is number two. Jeff Hardy is number three. Uh, I mean, AJ Styles is number three. Jeff Hardy, four. Mr. Anderson, five. This six. Pope, seven. And Desmond Wolf's eight. Go figure. Nine is Rob Terry. Do I really need to say more? And ten is Samoa Joe. I'm not going to spoil a whole lot for the what happens on the show. The point is, Eric Bischoff comes out and announces this. Um, and he also says that him, Hulk Hogan, and Dixie Carter uh, have the last say. They're deciding the deciding committee. Uh, they factor in uh, wins and losses, previous champions, and fan vote. Obviously, fan vote gets like 1%, if that, uh, of the final decision, apparently. Because I think Sting was like way low down on the list, unless he freaking got a million votes out of nowhere. Um, and Desmond Wolf was definitely number one. So, <laughs> Jeff Hardy was like number two, I think. And everybody else was not even close. So, really? Like, come on, TNA. You you can't lie to us. Like, it's not gonna it's not going to work. We voted. And you let us see the results. Now, if we voted and you didn't le let us see the results, then maybe there's a chance. But you let us see the results. And Desmond Wolf was dominating. <laughs> it's, it's not that simple. I mean, it's that, it is that simple. Desmond Wolf was dominating. And yet you have Sting. Oh, he won. No, he didn't. We well, you know he didn't. Like, TNA, there's not even much to say. Like, how dumb do you think we are? Like, really? How dumb do you think we are? You obviously think we're, we're like, mentally retarded or something. Not anything against mentally retarded people, just to say, uh, to make that clear, but come on now. Like, TNA, I have no faith in you. Like, really, I think my faith is just about dried up. It's, it's just gone. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, really, there's nothing, what is there to say? TNA, you've effed up again. Sting is the number one contender, yet he most likely was, like, last or second to last in the votes. <laughs> Good going, TNA. Good going. You're the greatest. Not. It's just a disappointing thing when me, one of the biggest TNA fans probably that I know, um, maybe not in the world, I'm sure, but one of the biggest TNA fans I know is pretty much this close to saying I'm done. And I'm pretty much almost already done. Um, I didn't order Sacrifice. Nope, sure didn't. Um, the card just wasn't great, and... Uh, Survivor finale was on. I'd rather see that. Um, yeah, that's right. Huge wrestling fan. I'd rather see Survivor. 
which I'm a huge Survivor fan too, but that's being outside the point. Um, but yeah, I haven't missed a TNA peer review in I think Hard Justice 2000 and either 8 or 2007 was the last one that I haven't seen. That is a long time, and I've ordered every one since then, pretty much. There might have been one in there I saw I streamed, but I don't stream them very often. So <laughs> TNA. There you go. Didn't order sacrifice. anniversary. If it's not a King of the Mountain World title match, there is a huge chance I'm not ordering that one. Um, my pay-per-view of that month, ROH. ROH, Death Before Dishonor, 8. 8 or 9. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's 8. It's going to be awesome. Dave Richards faces Tyler Black for the world title. It's going to be insane. I don't know if Dave Richards, will, they'll let him have the belt yet, but if, he, if they do, it's going to be awesome. Um, Briscoe's versus Kings of Wrestling rematch. Oh, you want to talk about even more awesome. That's going to be great. Um, and then Kevin Steen versus El Generico, and I'm sure it will be a, like, a street fight eventually. Um, and, and, yeah, this is the first match between them, so I'm sure it's not going to be you know as good as the next ones will be, but... Three matches right there that beats Sacrifice all together and will most likely beat Slammiversary all together too. So, it definitely is better than RVD and Sting. Um, but, I just don't understand you, TNA. I don't. Um, that's why I just plugged ROH. Because they deserve it. Um, that's why I'm wearing the ROH shirts and shirt in this video. Um, but yeah, I'm done. I'm done talking about you. Um, TNA rant number three, not much of a, of, a, of a rant, but just talking about how TNA is frustrating. I mean... I'm this close, this close to being done completely, completely. Um, quick, quick note: I did watch Raw, and I actually enjoyed it until Bret Hart won the United States Championship. All I have to say is pro wrestling is on a downward spiral. TNA is a utter crap. WWE, in my opinion, is pretty much utter crap. There's some good things, though. There are some good things in, uh, in TNA. There's some good things in, uh, in WWE. But overall, their shows are crap. It's that simple. Now, I don't watch SmackDown, so I'm not going to speak for SmackDown itself. But SmackDown has a world champion that is complete and utter crap. I mean, Jack Swagger is a, is a good talent, but he doesn't deserve to be champion. And he's getting freaking... I mean, Randy Orton pretty much take, took him to the limit. Um, and would have beaten him if Edge didn't interfere. So, um, anyways, that's enough. This is supposed to be a TNA rant. I'm talking about WWE. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the sidebar to go to GoFightLive.com. I'm not sure on the date. It's actually on my profile, which is kind of sad. Let me see. Uh, pro the date of the pay per view is. This is sad. I know. Um, it's on here somewhere. I can't even see it. It's Saturday, June something. Sorry, I can't even see it on my profile. That's that's sad. I know. Anyways, it's Saturday, June something. Um, it'll be in in the, the description or whatever. Super Card of Honor, eight or not super. I'm so retarded. Anyways, Death Before Dishonor, um, eight. I'm thinking it could be nine, but I know I'm not good there with promoting. Anyways, ROH gotta watch it. It's gonna be fifteen dollars. It's gonna be on the internet. I'm hoping everything goes well so that, you know, it's a good feed and everything. So if you have any past experience with that, because I actually was at Big Bang, so didn't get to see, uh, get, didn't get to order that one on GoFightLive.tv. So there you have that. Um, I'm done. TNA rant number three. I'm sorry if I spoiled anything. You guys didn't realize that I was going to spoil, but I'm, and I am going to put it in the title. So there you have that. Anyways, I'm done. Tomorrow or today, whenever you guys see this, uh, is going to be all about Red Dead Redemption. Love it awesome if you want to play with me join up on a posse i don't know how the game works i haven't exactly played it yet but i'm going to get it today or tomorrow i'm going to get it tuesday may 18th when it comes out i just don't know when this video is coming up so there you have that anyways i'm done done with rambling peace see ya